coming to the Tucson area and discovering the Sonoran Desert, the, the, the landforms, the cactuses, the plants, um, and I'm no expert on any of them by any means, but, but they're so intriguing. They have so much character and so much form that, that you don't find anywhere else. That was just, it's gotten into my head and uh, it's stuck. But I like to respond to what's in front of me and what's inside of me. And it's something that I feel I can translate into paint in a meaningful way, because that's what painting is for me. It's not just capturing imagery, it's bearing witness in a way that makes sense in paint. As soon as I came to the desert, years ago, starting to paint here, uh, there was a kind of synergistic thing. It was just, this is it. I titled this painting uh, A Land With No Name um, after the area where I was staying, um, kind of in, uh, in, in honor of the folks whose place I was staying at. But at any rate, um, what I was really going for here, what I was really excited about, were these, these hills that roll off of the Sierrita Mountains. Um, they reminded me, and the way the light catches them so many times during the day, it changes so much, but this way they kind of undulate in toward the larger hills, it reminded me almost like pleats or wrinkles, and uh, that was attractive to me. Um, I titled this painting um, The Storm of July 10th, and I did it about uh, in the mountains about 30 miles southwest of Tucson. I think this is a Sierrita mountain area. Um, and obviously it's a storm. Um, a couple of things to mention here. Uh, I, I'm doing this on burlap, which is, uh, is treated with a surface, but it does kind of wonderful, strange things to the paint. And so it gives it this kind of linear quality that I really enjoy. It almost like a, it reminds me of some kind of a Italian futurist painting. Um, and anyway, what I was trying to capture, what I was trying to remember and kind of bear witness to was that incredible explosive storm that had happened the night before. Obviously I wasn't painting the storm uh, as I was looking at it, but I was outside looking at this area where the storm happened and, uh, and then kind of uh, recollecting it that way. Um, th this painting, obviously called Mexico Door, um, the place I'm staying um, uh, outside of Tucson is a straw bale house. It's a, a beautiful building. And, um, and on the porch where I, where I did this painting, um, I, I, I love this old door. It's an antique door, whoever built the house. And on the inside of the door, it says Mexico. So, hence the name Mexico Door. They probably got it at some antique shop. I don't know the story behind it, um, but to me it had a lot of character. Um, and this unusual green is very close to the color of, of the, uh, the stucco house. Um, and it, centering it like that, making it almost stage-like, was really what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to do this painting as soon as I went to the house. Uh, and it was, uh, I put it off this kind of, one of the last ones that I did at this location, um, but uh, I was quite pleased with it. This painting is called Heat, obviously, the, the uh, title up in the corner. Um, and uh, the, the surface of the painting is another one that I did on all burlap, this treated burlap that I put over the canvas. Um, so it, it has this wonderful resistance to it, which I think, I, I like how that affects the paint uh, for some of the, the, the work that I do. Um, this one, I, I was just kind of trying to, I wanted to do a painting where I stare right into the haze of the sun, that mid-afternoon, horrible, hot sun, and, and make an image of it. And that's what I, that's what my whole uh, attempt was here and the whole thing I was trying to do. Um, and just to feel that heat coming down over the hills. And uh, well, that's pretty much it. Um, this painting I titled Open Range, um, I, I just, I, I wanted to do a, t a painting built around those words. It, it's a, a kind of Western phenomenon that I, I just, I, I don't know, that, that word, those words kept jumbling around in my head. Um, and then this image, uh, this painting of the mountains with these big, bold clouds uh, was a reflection of one day where, where there was these big, grand, glorious clouds. Um, and I simplified them into strong geometric shapes to kind of reflect the geometry of the hill itself. And also I used the patterning 
of the, these are pieces of uh, a burlap that were glued on early in the painting and then painted over a number of times with oil. Um, but I, I, the, the whole thing was to keep that really strong geometric structure, even, even to the point of these like floating cinder blocks as clouds. This one I called the season of storms. Um, uh, this July has been an, I, I believe a record monsoon um, season here in the Tucson area. Um, and there was just so many wonderful, glorious storms to witness and work into my paintings um, this, uh, over the last uh, five or six weeks. Um, and this one, I was looking out at the Sierrita Mountains from the back porch of the place I was staying. Um, and I was covered so I could see a lot of these storms coming. Uh, this one happened, um, this painting happened very quickly. Um, working working into the evening, and it kind of resolved itself really quickly. Um, I, I titled this painting, Arizona is West, um, and uh, I, I don't always, always start with a plan. I want to say this in the painting, but, but this painting became a kind of um, just iconic imagery of this area, the, the Tucson area and the West, and so, so having the saguaro right in the middle, just strong and tall, um, and the simplified mountains in the back, and a pretty unusual color for the sky for me. I, I, it, there, it was a kind of, of euphoric celebration of this landscape, this light, this place. So, and then I looked at that, and that's how I felt about it, so I gave it the title, Arizona is West. Um, I titled this painting Easy Afternoon, just a reflection of, uh, of the joy of painting it and the joy of painting in this environment that I always feel. Um, and I think it's pretty self-explanatory with the uh, prickly pear and the mountains behind. Um, we had, uh, this is the early, early part of monsoon season. Um, it was a clear, bright day, and then clouds moved in a few hours later. So I just decided to do both. Um, the, the, the big puffy white clouds and the storm clouds, um, and, and again, that, uh, that sense of linear excitement and, and explosive joy that I feel in this environment, I try to reflect in the, the prickly pear and the mountains. Uh, this painting I titled For the Living, um, and it's a reflection of, uh, of the kind of euphoric growth that uh, was going on out in the area where I was painting. We've had a heavy, wonderful monsoon month, um, and the Okotias were just brilliantly green like I've never seen them before, um, cloud form behind it. Uh, so there was a kind of, of, uh, of euphoria, I think, that worked its way into this painting. Um, and I also meant it as kind of a, an opposite to some of the darker paintings that I've done over the last year, um, last year or two. So uh, that's it for the living. <laughs>